Greetings and welcome everyone. It's an All You Can Geek bonus round for Marvel's Infinity War. This is a spoiler cast. I would like to welcome everyone. No, no, not yet. I would like to welcome everyone. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinsod. Oh, we're using our made-up names. Okay, yeah. I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> and Tony Korkanakis. I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome, uh, listeners and viewers, to the Marvel Avengers Infinity War extravaganza spoiler cast. Um, the movie is out. If you haven't heard about it, maybe you, I don't know where what rock you've lived under. Where but you um, yeah. I don't know why you're listening to our podcast. I don't know if you're related to Drax or something. I, you know, I'm I'm invisible. Um, mm. But um, yeah, so this is going to be a spoiler cast for those wondering uh, what that means. If you haven't listened to these other ones before, if this is your first time tuning, tuning in, we will be talking spoilers for this movie. So if you haven't watched it yet, go see it because right not, off the bat, I mean, we're not yeah. gonna like be like, oh, this is what we think, and no spoilers. Don't worry, guys, you can check it out and then just fast forward to this part. No, no, no that's gonna, for the movie. Cast. Go right into this. That's for the movie cast. Uh, this is about this movie and uh, all the aspects of it. So we're gonna break it down. You know, basically, you really almost can't scene by talk scene. about this movie like. Without spoiling it, I know you really can't. It's so hard. Let's not let's, to. let's just kick it off and go into the opening sequence with Thor uh, and Loki and Thanos, uh, basically picking up where Ragnarok yep. ended, almost exactly yep. where Ragnarok ended. Uh, we yep. have the demolished ship uh, with Thanos just destroying the Asgardian. What, what was left of him? <laughs> it was um, left. <laughs> yeah, an already destroyed population yeah. is now completely decimated and gone. Uh, yeah. It's like, yeah. as Guardians, they've had a shitty week. Yeah, yeah. I mean, think about it. It was all the same week. Um, so, yeah, we have uh, that whole sequence there with um, Thanos really doing something for the first time ever. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's exactly like a call it. Different character, but exactly like a call it. Where he just showed up, pimp slapped the shit out of the Hulk, and then just straight up murders Heimdall and Loki right in front of Thor's eyes. Yeah. Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I think that uh, it's it's interesting. Like you have Loki who tries to use the Hulk as the uh, you know as the, as the like the the savior there, and we have a Hulk, and this is the well, first time. Well, they do a callback to many. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, and uh, it didn't work for them this time, uh, and obviously the Hulk gets destroyed by Thanos. Yeah, uh, he gets a couple good hits in. But Thanos is like, bro, like you. No, I mean, Ebony Maw when he goes like, no, let him have his fun. You're like, oh, it's not going to end well for Hulk. <laughs> And then yeah. he's a little bitch the rest of the movie, which is kind of dumb. Yeah. Yep. Uh, well, he's he, he's basically uh, afraid to come out because uh, he got he got destroyed. Yep. So, yeah. Yep. Um, all right. So we have um, yeah with this whole sequence with the tesseract. Well, we already have so, Thanos with the power stone. The question I have is: Are we supposed to say that the stone is powering Thanos, or his natural race is that strong? Like. That's one he thing is. I didn't understand. Well, he Why? is he is strong. I mean, have you read? In, do you know any of the story or the backstory on him at all, Mike? I don't really either. Well, why would I? <laughs> no, but some people like to research this stuff or like to know about the characters beforehand. And we know we've known he's coming for like Ten years. six years. Oh, well, six years, according to yeah. Avengers. Yeah, that's true. Six years. Uh, so like you know, there's like a ton of stuff out there, and technically he's, you know, he's different than the race that he like, on Titan. He's like they're not all purple giants like that. Like he's they're normal people basically, and he's kind of an amalgamation of something else that uh, was shunned by his parents kind of when he came out basically because he was not normal. But um, as far as his power comes from, he already had the power stone. So I mean, you saw how powerful it was in Guardians. He, I don't even think he used it though against the Hulk. Not really, but he no. had the gauntlet on still. It's, I mean, but at the same time, he didn't. I don't think he needed to do it, use it. And in the comics, he like beats down the Hulk as well. So yeah, no, I think that was more just him straight up just being able to beat the Hulk. Uh, you believe it or not? I think I really think they're really setting up for um, Ms. Marvel to actually do this. I don't know Captain? why. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh sorry, 100%. Captain Marvel. Sorry, old Captain fashioned, Marvel. old fashioned. Sorry. Oh well, yeah, we'll uh, get to that. I mean, at the end. But, oh sure. Uh, I'm just thinking. I'm just <laughs> thinking back to that sequence where you know he's got so much power and and right. no, nobody. Well, I think what I was like alluding to is that you see him with a power stone already, or sure, or no, we Infinity see Stone, <laughs> and um, so basically you know he's had he has it, so he's powerful enough to take that already. So he's probably powerful enough to over power the hulk yeah do we have um 
I mean, we have basically the Tesseract getting handed over, which was hilarious that Loki had it on him still. Uh, he took that, obviously. <laughs> you, were the, you really are the worst, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you knew he had it. Like, he walks right by and he's like, ah, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, my nature. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's what I do. You got to wonder what you know, all of his steps, man. If he just left it there on Ra- for Ragnarok, it would have been perfectly fine. The, world, the universe would have been fine. Um, although he would have had still Thanos being as strong as he is. Actually, mm-hmm. I, I, not, I, I think it would have been much worse, actually, if he didn't have all the Infinity Stones. You think he just start killing people by hand oh, i just think he goes from planet to planet and like, wrecks them instead of <laughs> yep. he just like he says it's a mercy at the end and yep. uh without the stones i think he does it that way instead but with the stones just makes it a quick uh an easy thing so right. technically so i think it's actually a better thing we'll talk about two quick uh well not quick deaths two two deaths in this uh sequence here we've got the death death of loki and the death yeah, on screen deaths at least like deaths. who knows what happens to certain characters from ragnarok we have no idea yeah I guess they're alive. <laughs> I mean, that's I, the thing. I have a problem with this sequence is like they just show that Asgardian is destroyed, mm-hmm. uh, and you come from Ragnarok, mm-hmm. and then you see this, and it's like directly after it. And so, like, where's Valk- Val- Valkyrie? And where's you know Korg? I guess some people like him and Meek Ooh. and stuff like. <laughs> yeah, from the end, of the, end of Ragnarok, where they were on the ship with him. Right, and so it's yeah. like mm, I don't know. I kind of like was a little disappointed that continuity issue. Like they have a throwaway mm. line where it's like, oh, half of our Asgardians are okay. So it's like, well, I guess I'll assume that Valkyrie took them and kept them safe. That's what I'm going to imagine happened. But we don't see anything like that. I mean, you got all these other characters in there. So it's like very filled already, like stuff packed with like people from other movies. But at the same time, how how much time would it have taken just to show like Valkyrie escaping with like a yeah, ship it or something? Yeah, they um... Oh, they show everything destroyed there, so it's like uh. So you get um, oh well. you get Thanos it's killing Loki. Minor, but... You get Thor getting destroyed. Uh, you also mm-hmm. get the Hulk getting destroyed, and then you have. Heimdall. I do like that uh, Thanos really only kills people if they like do him dirty or yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> or like. Try to, um, yeah. He, he, he had a nice pattern. Hand. He had a nice pattern with that, definitely. Um, he. Uh... It's like the only reason he killed Heimdall is because. He sent Hulk. He's like, "Oh man, what the fuck?" He's like, "I'm gonna kill you." And then like, Loki obviously tries to betray him because that's his nature. And but like, he leaves Thor there, which is fine. And like, I no, he's just upset. He wasn't doing anything in that spot anyway, and he's gonna assume he gets blown up anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So we had Heimdall getting uh, <laughs> killed here too after he yeah, sends. He's got to do his own thing now. After so, he sends away uh, the Hulk and um, uh, let's see, Hulk. his Rainbow Bridge. Yeah, I'm just remember, but who else got sent away there? Nobody. Nobody, just the Hulk. Um, yeah, the Hulk. Okay, uh, so he sends him away, and um, and then he's obviously getting killed using he used the Bifrost one last time, uh, and then we get the Hulk. We immediately go right to the Hulk crash landing on New York. Uh, very, yeah. pretty yep. much. Doctor um, Strange is, uh... and that was like Silver Surfer's role in the comic, but yeah, they yeah. don't have him, so yeah, he even used the line to it. <clears throat> Thanos is coming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was pretty. This is still pretty impressive. I think it had Tony Stark um, in the park with um, Pepper, so little Pepper mm-hmm. Potts in there. Uh, mm-hmm. We still got those great characters back together, and uh, then we got to see him. And it's a little foreshadowing too of like the kid stuff and. Yeah, you know, he's trying to like Peter she's Parker trying to get him to like give that. up. Yeah, she's trying to get him to give up being Iron Man still a little bit and. Uh, still Iron Man three going on. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, they haven't gone past that with another Iron Man, so. Um, well, it's got that another continuity thing. Where it's like they don't ever explain it. Like, I guess they got back together. Like, it's all good. Iron yeah. Man three. They explained like, it at the end of Homecoming. Stuff. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, like, oh, throw, like that's where like, you get it from. Like, uh, okay, it's not really though. Like, they did they really explain it? No, we're back together. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought know. it was pretty clear they were back together at the end of I that. I thought it was after the end. No, of I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, but like in the beginning of uh, Civil War, it's like something's not right with these two like there's obviously yeah but that was that, before homecoming no, yeah they're back together but they have the but same like, issue that broke them up they're talking yeah, it about just it seems like weird to like to me to me personally I just like okay they didn't explain in homecoming they don't really explain it here but i guess we'll just go with it it's mm-hmm. not that important in the scheme of things i guess yeah um let's see what else we have uh oh yeah so we have um tony stark going over to strange tower dr strange's tower and uh um, well, I mean, the nice intro for Strange meeting Stark, where he comes like, you're coming with me. Just, it's not like, what does he say? Something about like, 
it's not a small thing to say, but this the fate of the universe is. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Let's stay He's here. like, oh, I'm congratulations, like, by the way. He's like, who are you? Are you yeah. and then it's, hey yeah. guys, I'm back. Yeah. Um, Banner's yeah. here. It was pretty cool to actually. Um, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like it was. We. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen Doctor Strange. Um, so it was cool to actually see those characters kind of like just pick up and almost reminded you of that movie immediately. Like, you're like, oh, wow, yeah, this is this is them, and they've nailed these roles again. Uh, it's just kind of cool to get them just almost they like definitely did a beat. great job of matching um, certain character types with other character but, types. You know what's funny about this together. is like you, you're talking about a different director, directors for this movie than these other movies, like these yeah. characters. So it's, it's tough to get that same sequence, and I think that. He... But the Russo brothers actually worked with all the directors okay, that's what they, okay. to make sure that really... like, the dialogue was written. And James Gunn wrote all of the Guardians dialogue yeah. in okay. this movie. Okay. I was going to say the Guardians were like spot on. Like I was yeah. like, wow. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I, th- I, wouldn't, I mean, that whole sequence with the Guardians, which we're getting to yeah, next. It's not but... like they were in a vacuum and they didn't know. I mean, these characters and actors played these characters before as well. So they also bring that knowledge and experience. <laughs> the next sequence in the movie, we have um, Scotland with uh, Wanda and Vision. Um, did anybody else? We just it... skip right through oh. the whole battle with the Q. Oh, the well, Q I'm forgot about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, we have the whole Spider-Man appearance. I'm sorry. We have the, the, the ship show up with them all. I, mean, I love the Ned part. He just goes right into. It. He's like no hesitation. Like any distraction. Oh my God, we're gonna die! Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was great on the bus. <laughs> uh, I thought that was great, and uh, he was more or less doing it because he didn't even. I don't think. He under, I don't even think he heard Peter in that. He yeah, just started yeah. doing it anyways. Um, I, I mean, I know. I totally thought he's like. Yep, I know the situation. We're going with it. Just rolling. <laughs> it's like immediately knows what he needs to do. Uh, um, you get Peter um, going towards that thing, and uh, you have a nice little showdown in the streets uh, with um, with one of the best looking CG characters of that group. Because I think that the other one is Ebony they, Maul or um, the, the Squidward, the, the wizard, the wizard. <laughs> Ebony Maul. Ebony yeah. Maul. Uh, how do we? How are we supposed to know his name? They say it twice, I think. What yeah, did they say I forgot. It? I don't remember it at but all. But he looks, he looks know, great. Thanos though. says the mall. Thanos asks him, and I think one of the characters says it at the beginning. Mm-hmm. I know we well, get Ebony Maul at one point. I just remember Squidward, so that's who he is to me. Well, that's all you needed to remember. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so but that, I mean, that's a great sequence. Uh, you really get to see Ebony Maul's power as far as like his yeah, control. He's, yeah, he's so sick, just like the way he's effortlessly doing stuff. Yeah, like, and that's like, and it's kind of toned down from the comic too like he yeah, is yeah. that's cool like they get yeah. they get a lot more like uh, things to do in the comic obviously because a little bit more fleshed out but here i think they did a pretty good job with making these characters you know obviously the avengers have to beat up somebody right before they get to thanos you got to give them some wins here and there but, uh, yeah. but uh <laughs> as far as like being just like cannon fodder for like your heroes i think they did a good enough job of saying like these guys are Formidable, but at the well, same time, they, you know, I mean, the just hero the amount that he like owned Doctor Strange in the beginning, I thought that was uh, mm-hmm. interesting. Like he still owned him. If it wasn't for the team up, he would have won. I mean, that guy was a very powerful. Um, uh, uh, what do you call them? The, what do they call them? The, the children Thanos. of Thanos. The children of Thanos. Thank you. He was very, very powerful one because he took them yeah. on with no issues. Uh, yeah. Even Iron Man was struggling against the um, big guy, uh, Black Dwarf. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what they call him in this because definitely not. I don't, I don't know, the only either. time I remember they saying names was like um, the three of the the three smaller ones. I don't remember the big guy's name. I don't remember them saying. But I remember them saying Corvus Glaive, and I remember them saying um, Proxima Midnight. But I don't remember saying anything about the other yeah. guy's name. Rocksteady. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we still have. Uh, obviously oh, we just... I, I really liked the uh, the sequence with uh, Tony in his new suit, like the the oh, nanotech. Yeah. The nanotech. Like, the four like, things. Come... Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. And uh, I just gotta say, like. The design of everything with Iron Man, I felt was like very anime esque, where you, he just had all these like little bits and parts and, and whatnot that like flew out of him. I was like, yeah, this is like badass Iron Man, not just like you know fly around, repulsor blast kind right. of stuff. And um, it's interesting to see going from like Civil War to see how clunky the suit looks to oh, compared, yeah. compared to what it looks like yeah. here, because like it's almost like a Black Panther esque, you know, leotard, <laughs> yeah. and and yet it's this fully like crazy functional. You know, yeah. Iron Man suit. I also love the sequence where uh, he's trying to get Bruce to uh, come out, and he's like, "I'm having some trouble." He's like, "Dude, you're embarrassing me in front of wizards." <laughs> <laughs> there were some great lines there. Um, there was it, that was, was like Squidward pure fine, vintage, uh, vintage yeah. Tony Stark there, um, definitely going around. And uh, we had uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I, th- I don't know if I like the, the, the Hulk storyline necessarily in this movie. Um, like I said, he was a little bitch in this. Yeah, you know me, I, Hulk is one of my favorite characters, and he was a fucking bitch. Just sideline is... him. And I you saw how, but, but you you saw know what, how uh, we had the false uh, trailer image of the Hulk. Yep. Yeah, the I, well, I mean, just of everyone <laughs> just yeah. running there. That doesn't happen. I um, yeah, that was that interesting. Happened. No, no, not everybody in that sequence though. Not, not in the woods like that. That sequence? I'm not looking at the background. But... It was in the woods, and uh, yeah, that never happened. That was a fake. It was a fake trailer. Um, the fake... ending of those trailers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we let's see what else we had. We had um, what was that? What was I gonna say? Should... Get... Spidey gets sucked up. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Goes to space. Spidey. Well, so they get Doctor Strange. Obviously, still they they are trying to get the Time Stone. And he gets his Iron Spider suit, which is that was a cool sequence. Pretty... I like that. That yeah, that was cool. Uh, to save his life, essentially, because he couldn't breathe. Uh, mm. Stark and him get like, put onto the mall ship. Yeah, also, like a... He also exhibited a spider sense beforehand to get there, and then he forgot did, about which it. Which we didn't have... No, <laughs> they just never really focused in on it. We didn't have that from the first movie, confirmation yeah, that he has no, that, not though. at all. So we no. got that in this movie, at least. Well, we can't see his hairs on his arm when he's wearing a suit, so... There you go. There's I did, it's, I, I did there. like I did like the confirmation. Away that way. I did like the confirmation in this movie that we, he actually has that ability, mm-hmm. so... There's um, a theory um, out there, um, which we'll get to, I guess, at the end, but um, that has spider sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, too. I'll, we'll talk about that later, then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, and I think we get the Guardians, right? Well, well then we get the then Guardians, we but, to, we get the Guardians well, but after um, Banner decides to contact Steve Rogers himself. He has that. Yeah. I love how he had um, the flip phone that he just didn't want to use. Um, oh, but, hold on. And there was like a quick moment that I want to talk about where uh, back in, in Strange's... Um, sanctum or whatever and uh he's like oh we'll just just call steve up he's like yeah it's been a while since we caught up avengers broke up what do you mean broke up like a band with the beatles and he's like call him he's like and you know it's like okay well you know the the mind stone is with vision we just got to get him he's like yeah vision's mia he's like you lost another super bot like (laughs) yeah uh no it's good to see like it just i think there are like with this movie obviously having seen the last 10 years worth of films really uh, gives you appreciation for some of the little details that happen in this movie, where I think if you haven't seen those mov- uh, movies, you, it just goes over your head. You're not sure what's like. Oh, yeah, like. absolutely. Well, I will. So I will. in that regard, I don't think, you know, it says a stand- good of a standalone film as some other ones, but at the same time, it's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, it's a pay. I didn't want, yeah, I didn't want a movie that wasn't going to pay off those past 10 years of, films yeah it's like yeah. huh it's like uh I, I haven't watched any of the lord of the rings movies but i just decided to watch the last one I mean, yeah yeah no, sure cool. I, I can say though i i have to say that my my least favorite character in this movie my least favorite character was mark ruffalo bruce banner well, like we said <laughs> <laughs> Hulk and yeah, no just bruce also, banner, the, way, yeah, also the way he acted general. and stuff i just yeah well i, I thought it was dumb because of the, he's on the the shit dude yeah. yeah, I took it more like he was just. He was also like not Bruce Banner for. Yeah, he and a half lost years. <laughs> years of his life, like to the Hulk on yeah. uh, Sakaar and stuff. So. Well, but, know, uh, but the thing that I, I just have, like we talked about before, like Tony Stark and Doctor Strange seeing each other for the first time. And that was awesome. Banter between each other, them, yeah. them, like because of their Tony characters, Strange. they can actually like go toe to toe with the yeah. Stark, <laughs> and yeah. it's pretty funny. Uh, but they're was a missed opportunity where um because in the comics there is a line where they like tony stark mentioned something about the beard they and how it's here, yeah. <laughs> they don't do it here but i'm sure we'll uh, get it in the next one but it's funny because that later on cap and uh yeah, yeah that was awesome see puppet beard yeah, so um, yeah it's uh so I, guardians though i have to say one of my favorite sequences is guardians guardians was, and thor yeah and that was drax being like it's like a pirate had a big angel. angel. <laughs> a, a, a Drax in this movie You're was, was a, great, but he's not a dude. Yeah, You're a dude. This is a this man. This is a man. <laughs> uh, Drax, Drax was the, the most funniest character. I think he was the best like character in this movie, like funny humor-wise delivering um, for me. Uh, but we skipped over um, Scotland. Um, so Scotland was with um, Wanda and Vision, uh, where they're supposed to be MIA from everybody, but apparently Captain America and them knew where he was, or they were, so... That was a hole that I didn't understand because they mentioned that nobody knows where they are, and they even said no, it to themselves. We don't know. Oh, she did. Where did they say that? As soon as they get on the helicarrier or the Quinjet, she goes, "You, I thought we had a deal. You stay close. You stay in touch. You know, whatever check in. time period. Check in and whatnot." Yeah, that's what I mean. She didn't know where they were. They just happened to find them in Scotland. Well, I'm well, sure they I were. I think it was relatively... implied that 
Wanda is like, um, we're good, everything's fine. We're, but I, I, I could see where people have gripes. I had that. an issue with that part. It was like, how but it's like they're the Avengers, like... dude. It's like, come on, really? I mean, you're not gonna be able to find people. <laughs> Tony Stark couldn't. I know. I mean, that's his problem, though. To- Steve Rogers. Tony Stark though. even admitted that Steve Rogers could probably track him. So, I yeah. Mean... Um, oh, he did say that. But uh, yeah, so we had that whole showdown with. Um, we get Cap, Cap back, yeah, but... and uh, you get well. Is it Captain America still, or is it just America? Punished <laughs> America. Steve Rogers. <laughs> it's Steve Rogers. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, we get a nice little uh, sequence with the children of Thanos. And yeah, it's interesting them. how these two very powered characters have to be saved by like humans or human mm-hmm. plus characters. Well, I mean. Like, I did like um, <laughs> they've really weakened Scarlet Witch in this in this universe. Like, she's really weak. I think. Well, uh, I mean, you can't have her here and there her, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you have Vision, which this, um, and this whole movie is just Vision getting the shit kicked out of him. That was one of the um, things that my wife <laughs> had after an issue he was with like she was watching the it. most powerful being. Yeah. you know, she ever. was like, "Well, this guy's an Infinity Stone. Why isn't he just wrecking people?" Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I, "The only thing I could tell her was like he got." run through with a spear like a spear that is yeah, like I mean, more was... than once <laughs> yeah. yeah but he and was so, damaged like... like the whole movie so right he was well he was dying for two hours like... yeah. <laughs> it was a keep uh, vision just... alive or not and then so that like handicaps you know wanda obviously because now she's all she's thinking about is you know trying to keep uh vision alive or whatever so i yeah. i think that's how they play that off but at the same time you do question like these people are like the most powerful people in on the planet and yet they don't do anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I mean, they were cut off guard. It was a surprise attack. I mean, they didn't even know anything was happening. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, New York is like destroyed. I mean, like, well, they saw, that on the <laughs> they saw on TV that Tony was missing and stuff. So no, I know. I just thought it was funny. Like the Q jet, the uh, Q jet for Q ship, or whatever it's called for like Proxima and Cly- Clay, Clivus, Clay, whatever his name is, Clive. comes down like stealthily and like, there's no wind. There's no like, yeah. people yeah. anywhere. It's like, Oh, well, okay. Maul being That's the cool. wizard he is, couldn't keep it quiet. Nope. Um, well, Maul wasn't on there, so. Oh, well, no, that was Maul's ship. The, in, he was in on the New York, he couldn't keep it quiet, but oh, oh, yes. he didn't have That's him. what we're saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, in New York, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So we have um, them meeting up then after there. They they obviously save them and they go over to see um, James Rhodes, uh, who's talking with about the Sokovia Accord still. Uh, yeah, Thunderbolt Ross. Yeah, Thunderbolt Ross, who, who says that <laughs> they should all be arrested and... He, he said, "I'm that's sure." About it. Yeah, that's about it. Well, <laughs> Civil War gets brushed by in that scene. Yeah, it's yeah. the end of the Civil War right there. It's not really um, the end of the Civil War because Tony and 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 Steve have not been on the screen together. There's still it. there's still a rivalry. There's like a little thing there, still a rift. Um, I mean, all this all this happened because there was a Civil War. If yeah. it didn't happen, things probably would have turned out a lot differently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you get Steve suggesting that uh, well, Vision wants to offer to sacrifice himself, and uh, they decide that maybe they can remove the stone from him before the, without him killing himself. And they have throwaway lines as far as where Clint and Steve what they are. I did like, like oh they, yeah, they took uh, they took um, play bills. Yeah, <laughs> and, and they have uh, families to think about because none of the other people have families apparently. Like, yeah, I guess well, they, they don't. don't. Widow doesn't. Oh, I'm doesn't. sorry, I'm Wid- Widow and Rogers, but I'm saying, like, Tony Stark has Pepper, you know. Peter yeah, Parker has Yeah, but he, he signed the Accords. I know, I'm just saying. Rocket just... doesn't, have a, doesn't have anybody. He has Steve, that's it. Yeah, that's true. Um, I go where he goes. I do what he yeah, does. Pretty much. Slower. slower. <laughs> on, on your left. Um, all right, so we have, uh, they, go, they decide they're going to go to Wakanda, uh, which we don't, well, he suggests they go there. Um and then we sw- and then we go to the gar- one of the best intros of the movie uh, with the Guardians of the Galaxy. We get a little bit of the preview of the mixtape, the new mixtape, yeah. uh, with the songs on it, and uh, we get them From responding, band, man. responding to a distress call, and they're acting just like that you would think they would to be the Guardians. Like, yeah, we're, I thought like this came humor. sooner than that. No, this is the order I have. I have the order. I thought it was, but, oh, they it was, was, whatever. I just I thought it came yeah. sooner. I mean, what I thought was going to the plot I, I really right thought was funny was um, how. When they're like, why are we responding to this distress call? He's like, ah, you know, to be nice. And then uh, it's like, yeah, so we could get some cheddar cheese. And it's like, but that's not the only reason. It's like, and if they don't have anything, it's like, then we steal their ship. And like, Gamora just looks so pissed off. And Star Wars is like, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you get Rocket. Like totally you got Rocket being Rocket still. And uh, yeah, Adolescent Groot 
Um, oh, that's a Whoa, language. Got some language. language. Yeah. Language. I am Groot. Um, I thought that was hilarious later on, too, with Thor, who can speak. Yeah, I can speak Groot. tree. <laughs> uh but yeah i like i thought it was funny when he woke up and like they were talking and like the whole you know gamora thing happens where he's like your father killed my brother and he's like ah oh, it's my stepfather he's like look uh family could be difficult it places like his hand on her shoulder you can just see star lord's face like just turn to this nasty ass scowl like <laughs> i don't know i got a lot of laughter out of my my uh theater when yeah, like, that laugh. happened and then like he just like instantly like pushes her off and it's like, I'm like yeah well you know i had a difficult week too uh yeah. difficult time too you know my dad killed my mom and then i had to kill my dad and like, which is probably uh, worse than like, it's probably design. worse than a sister i mean that's yeah, weird. yeah. <laughs> and you know with i did with yeah. both my eyes you know? <laughs> <laughs> and the whole time i was just holding that stupid ass spoon like yeah how did they record this without cracking up i don't understand I don't know. they had to take a few takes but well, so. it does like make you realize that all these characters have been having some shitty like lives <laughs> up like, until now i do like that later though with rocket when he's like time to be the captain and he, <laughs> and he just goes i like back. how he called him a, he's like ah oh, i see the rabbit is clearly the smartest one here it's like <laughs> he's like rabbit all right i'll go with this because you won't be the captain <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, I did like um, that whole that whole Ga- Guardian sequence was great. Um, and you get the the quick luck part. morons. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you'll be a bunch of morons to go there. So they, they obviously split up here. Uh, we we get our yeah. first, well, we get our second team split because we already had Tony going with Spider Man up into the mall ship <clears> to get <throat> Doctor Strange back. Um, so we have our second split here where Thor and and Rocket and Groot go to get his new weapon while they go to try to take on Thanos. <laughs> That's a made-up word. All words are made-up. Made 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 <laughs> <laughs> There's some great lines for that. Um, yeah, so we have... Uh, I can't even... I don't even remember the name of that planet. So. Yeah. So I can't Nibbin. pronounce it. It's some... Yeah. Niven Niven something. Nivelheim or whatever. Something like that. So do they, do they go to... Um, <laughs> yeah, this is where they go to uh, fight him over at... Um, nowhere. Nowhere. They go to nowhere, mm-hmm. and they run into Thanos, where he's, uh, you know trying to interrogate um, a Benicio Del Toro cameo, mm-hmm. which I didn't mm-hmm. think he was ever going to reprise that character. I thought he said he wasn't going to. Mm. Yeah, people say a lot of things. Yeah, well, we and also got to return to another character later on. That I was cash, just beeps yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Backs up. Uh, I, do, I do love the cameo that we're going to talk about later, by the way, that I thought it was yeah. awesome. Uh, I was like, my jaw just dropped in the movie. I was like, what? Uh, and then I realized it wasn't Hugo Weaving. I'm like, mm. I, understand, I understand Marvel. This is a good call. They have to, you can't have, you know, anyways. Um, so we have um, them trying to sneak up, and we have basically the plan. Uh, obviously, him trying to uh, Peter trying to be uh, the the guy making all the plans, and and them not listening because you have Gamora with her own vendetta against Thanos and Drax, who suddenly hates Thanos for killing his family. Even though it's funny, you said Peter. I was thinking of Parker. I'm like, wait, that's not where we are right now. It's oh like, no, no. You just hear Quill. Not oh, Peter. I'm sorry. I call him Peter Quill. Um, <laughs> call him Peter. So I was like, what? No, she Gamora calls him Peter. No, I know. I'm just saying, yeah, I usually don't think they're, of Star-Lord as Peter. Their relationship's a little different than ours with him, I think. We're the viewers. We have any relationship we want with these people. That's not true at all. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, oh, I forgot Mantis was there with them. Yep. Yeah, I did, too. That. Like, when I first saw her, I'm like, oh, yeah, she's with them now. <laughs> so we have them sneaking up on Thanos and you realize that the destruction of this place has already happened and he's using the reality also a really important part though before this happens what was that is sequence with Gamora yeah. and, and Quill and how she's like you have to kill me because I know I something that was... oh that was right there it has there. to happen before this I mean that's that's the one motif of this movie really can you kill someone you love for like right. the I mean, fate of the universe problem, and that's Quill's <laughs> problem here it's like it's also Thanos' problem yeah, the, it whole, is the, the whole theme, of the, theme of the movie was sacrifice. Yeah, right. Literally, and and sacrifice. honestly, this is Thanos's movie. This is like yes, his, uh, his could be Thanos. Uh, oh, well, it had to be because we really like, didn't know anything exactly. about him before this movie. Yeah. Which I think that is a great call. But yeah, this scene with uh, Quill and Gamora, where she's like, "I know something. You have to promise me you're gonna kill me if he tries to take me." And it's like that moment you like realize you know something. It's well, probably yeah. going to happen. Something was, was definitely going to happen, but the part that like made it super serious, at least I thought, was when you know she's like, you know, swear on your mom. And he's right. Like, okay. Because yeah. that's like the 
you know, for yeah. him, that is the ultimate. Right. Like, yeah, her hatred of Thanos was, it's quite amazing in this movie, the way it, like, morphed back and forth from, like, father figure to absolute, like, despising him to realizing that. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I wish we sort of saw, like, a little more of, like, her growing up as far as, like, when she decided she hated him because it, it's just, like, kid her seemed fine. Well, Adult, same thing like with all this Nebula. Like, thing when happened. did she decide well, that she? He, did... he, he. Apparently, she was just not the favorite daughter. Like he gives no shits about her. No, no he no. didn't. And well, they even yeah. they've been addressed this in the first movie or the second movie where she is like, you know, we ever. He always made us fight, and every time no, he, he was would the... win, and then he would remove a part of me. Well, she was the it. she was the Vegeta of the Goku. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's exactly. the, she's yeah. the bar. She's holding that holding yeah. that L eternally. Yeah, but uh. But then, obviously, they lighten the the mood with Drax. Just you know, stand. How long have you been there? <laughs> an hour. Like an hour. <laughs> an hour. <laughs> like master of Lord. You being so so quiet. So there you yeah. are. I can see you. Um, uh, yes. Hi, Drax. Damn it. <laughs> uh, so we had. And um... then we go to nowhere with them, and uh, obviously, you see, like which you said, mentioned, you know, you see um, Thanos interrogating the Collector, and then they start sneaking up on on him, and we realize it's a reality goes, stone. Go, Right, and then they go left. <laughs> yeah, and uh, then realize it's a. I love that little callback to that too. Go right, and they all go left, and then they have a realize, realize it's a reality stone issue. Like it wasn't real what they were seeing, and uh, basically Thanos takes them all out, and obviously takes Gamora Gamora hostage at this point. Mm-hmm. And what we just heard from Gamora becomes like the reality where Peter's supposed to well, kill her. All right, but uh, real quick to before we brush about that, the the interesting part to me was even though like in the illusion Gamora killed. Thanos, like you know, she she kind of broke down. Obviously, you're going to because um, obviously you did she... spend you know, the majority of your life with right this person with this person, in your father like figure. Yeah, we get, did we get a uh, flashback right there? Is that where we got the flashback? N- no, that was beforehand. Oh, well, we did um, get a flashback. We forgot but, to mention where we see her as a kid. Yeah, well, we can get back to that. But um, the way he took out um, Drax and Gamora, or not Gamora, uh, Mantis in this scene mm-hmm. was pretty cool. Uh, it was totally like a throwback to the comics where he, in the in the comics, he uses the Infinity Gauntlet just like, well, fuck really. up all your heroes. Like Wolverine, he turns into like he he turns his his adamantium bones into like rubber, and he's just like, mm-hmm. whatever. Well, he they has, did that like, with Mantis making her like a slinky, right? And the Drax right, right. Well, they, no, they actually he does the exact same thing to these two characters and in, uh, to two different characters in Infinity. Oh, okay. That's cool. Gaunt, Good. Gaunt four. Yeah. Infinity War. Comp- Infinity War. Yeah. That was cool. No, that was a cool fight. Um, I was like, whoa, do they just kill these characters? And I didn't realize yeah. that it was just like, is that just yeah. real or is that just reality? But, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But then I like when I uh, he was threatening him. He's like, hands off Grimace or whatever he called yeah. him. Like, you know, McDonald's. Well, uh, yeah, there. the purple guy from McDonald's. Yeah, and yeah. threatened to like, I'm going to blast that, you know, nutsack of a chin off your face. Because uh, I, I think that was a common internet criticism for, for a while. Yeah. But, uh, you know, where she's like, no, you know, you're pointing it at the wrong person. He's like clearly conflicted, and he's like, "You have too much faith in him." It's like, "Come on, go ahead, do it." And he finally does do it, but it's like you know the bubbles, bubbles at that point. Yeah, like, I thought that was so great. Confused. I liked it when he like warped, like right before he warped out. He's like, "I like you." And he's like, he bounces out of there. It's yeah, like, oh, he's like okay. the approval, approving father of the... father figure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was cool. Um, so we had uh, let's see, kidnapping Gamora there. Um, uh, then we go to. Do we get the? Do we get the Thor now? This timeline and this plot thing. You're right. Is wrong. I can. I can tell you that because it's skipped over. It's just skipping through things. So mm-hmm. if I skip something, don't you know? Just stop me here. It um, almost like doesn't matter when the the close ones because everything jumped back and forth so much yeah. at a certain point. It yeah. was like, well, these are happening. I mean, we could jump to Thor but... right now. We could go to Thor fine. and talk about him yeah. and Rocket and, and Groot and seeing Dinkle uh, Giant Peter Peter Dinklage uh, as the, Peter Dinklage. the giant dwarf. Like as soon as like it showed his face, the entire theater just laughed out loud. I was like, ah, I see we have a lot of Game of Thrones fans in this in this audience. Not he used surprised. the same voice too. He was using the same exact voice. Uh, yeah. As a uh, Tyrion. I felt like he was doing like the whole like oh, I was going deeper there. No, I thought he was going deeper. It's like you were supposed to protect us. Uh that was one of my favorite parts too, back when uh Star Lord and uh Thor were talking, he's like, Are you mocking me? Like you're making your voice deeper. He did it again. It's like fucking Star Lord. But oh, yeah, crazy. anyway. Um yeah, you know, forged uh, the gauntlet, blah blah blah, need to make the Stormbreaker. Which is blah, blah. Beta Ray Bill's hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and this is an axe. It's an axe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I think that he has an axe, and it's called something else in the comic at some point, but mm-hmm. okay. whatever. Didn't know that. Um, yeah, so we have them having to reignite those flames, and then we have can we go back to Thanos with Gamora and his... Well, and I think that, I mean, I really liked that sequence, though, with um, Thor, uh, just trying to open up the eye part. I thought that was a great moment for him. Holding open the eye? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we didn't get that. Uh, yeah, that's a little so, later. Yeah, we, I didn't get oh, that. Unless you want to finish We can go back there. Let's oh. finish that sequence up. Uh, so we'll go there because that wasn't that big of a sequence. Like it wasn't. Then what they right. were doing didn't it seem to take too long. kind of just melded all together yeah. that whole part. Um, so they obviously had to reawaken the flame. They, you know, couldn't ignite the flame long enough. So he, Thor decided he was going to just hold the eye open. While we saw that in the trailer. Up. We didn't know what it was, but yeah, then like here you see it, and it's like wow, it's pretty. It's, it's, like, it's a pretty cool moment for him. I thought, and I thought it was really good. shows how powerful, powerful he is. Yeah. Well, he's doing his You're going to be taking the brunt force. He's clearly, star. he's clearly the most powerful Avenger right now. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah. And. The line really, though was like, "Really, it's gonna Hulk. kill you only if I die." Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> what <laughs> you mean. Um, well, you know, one part real quick before they got to this, um, where he had that like captain, like time to be the captain with the group uh, rocket. Yes, that's right. I gotta say that was actually a really interesting character moment because. You know, Thor is trying to well, open up. Well, Rocket's about... not that much of an. I mean, he's talks about no, trying no, to be. No, no, I know, he's but like, not. I think that shows like you know the growth from from both of those characters Andu because and Rocket right, yeah. Yondu's yeah. influence on Rocket, and I think Rocket took that to heart. Where he's like, ah, this is probably what Yondu would do in this this instance, and you you could see Thor opening up, and he's like, oh, I thought that was oh, one of his best moments for Thor. Yeah. Also, just yeah, he's like, uh, you see him never like, full... trying to smile, but then he's like he's tearing just... up and crying. It's yeah. like really well acted. Because, like, you know, he's like, oh, he's never fought me. Yeah, he did. Well, he's never fought me twice. And it's like, okay, but, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he's joking. It's like, all right, but, you know, what if you're wrong? He's like, well, what more do I have to lose? Like, you I think know. That, and that, for me, was actually the saddest part in this movie. Yeah. Um, more so than, like, stuff that happens later. And just because you realize this is the first time he gets to stop and, like, reflect on what happened the past yeah. week. And yeah. it's like, you lose your father. You lose your sister, which, fine, who cares about that? But you lose your best friend and your brother. Like all the people, of days. Yeah. best <laughs> friend and the person you hate the most too, half the time. It's like, <laughs> but like they are constants in your like for fifteen hundred years yeah. they've been constants in your life, and now yeah. they're just gone. They're all gone. And one, and one like, felt sweat. Wow, this is yeah, it's the first time he's really got a chance to see, and he's like crying on. I, and it's like he's trying to be all tough at the same time. I it's, will say I never really liked Thor in any of his appearances up until this movie. This yeah. is my I favorite version. This being of the Thor. convincing, I could, I could see this being yeah, the convincing version because he was very good in this movie. He's probably, in my Thor mind, the strongest character. Kind of the yeah. star of this movie, really. He as probably, far as the protagonist, as far as yeah. the heroes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so a lot had, of hinged, hinged on, and he was the most like level-headed about. It. I was like, no, we need to get this hammer because it's the only thing that's going to stop him. And they're like, oh no, we'll just stop him with our bare hands. What are you talking about? He's like, <laughs> he's already the most powerful being with two infinity stones. Like, yeah. that ain't going to happen. <laughs> like, all right, morons. <laughs> So we can go now yeah. to uh, we go to Thanos now back with Gamora yeah. and uh, torturing her, her sister Nebula who tried. Which was to kill a him. really cool sequence because like it pans over and you see her like, like torn apart. Pieces, yeah. But yeah. like when you first look at it, it's like oh she's just hanging up and like being yeah. hovered or whatever and like oh shit. It's like it's an art gallery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So we had. But that. again, like you could see here, you know, going back with the theme, you could see her how Thanos is intimidating and threatening Gamora not with her own um, physical being but he's threatening her with Nebula and you know he's like either you tell me where the stone is or you know I'm going to kill her and you know she you know trades the information from Nebula's life so again just like you know can you give up right another sacrifice can't sacrifice yeah there's um so obviously he knows where the soul stone is at this point so that's where they they head to um uh, we have briefly, I mean, we can quick, quickly mention Nebula escaping ca- captivity right there as they as they leave for um, Vormir, is what the place is called. Um, so <laughs> we'll go to Vormir now first, and then we'll go back to... Uh, I think she, in the comics, she, like, Gamora has a, like, a link to Vormir or whatever it's called. Okay, well, we'll go back to, we'll go to the um, Stark and Parker aspect once we get done with, um, we'll cover all of Thanos right now with Soul Stone. Uh, that sequence with uh, our cameo of um, an old character, mm-hmm. an old foe of Captain America's Red Skull, uh, which I was mm-hmm. like, "What? Yeah, they used? Th- I can't believe they used him on this thing. That's pretty amazing." Yeah. So, uh, I thought that was cool. Like you had a Tesseract teleporting him away, uh, and then he just basically became the keeper of the Soul Stone. I um, thought it was cool until I realized it wasn't Hugo Weaving, and I'm like, "Eh." <laughs> he won't play that character again. They, like, like, the, the, does it matter? Like, I, no, I don't know. a little bit. I Who's thought he sounded off. 
I don't know. To me, Hugo Weaving is like a sort of iconic like actor just because of mm. like Matrix and all that stuff. So were you upset yeah. that he didn't voice Megatron? Yeah, I was. <laughs> I don't time. care about Megatron. I don't know. Well, I'm... okay, so I'm just saying that for me, that's the same thing. It's like okay, like he was yeah. fine in Captain America first. Yeah, like I didn't Here care. <laughs> Is uh, it's a great job. They did a great they did job. A great with job with it. Yeah, and the guy absolutely. did a really good Hugo Weaving. No, he did. I, at first I couldn't he tell. No one first tell impressions. First. Yeah. I actually He's couldn't tell. Guy first. on Walking Dead. I was like, uh, I was like, is that him? And I'm like, no. Yeah, like I had to look that up after because I was, I thought to myself, I was like, holy shit, like I'm pretty sure Hugo Weaving like said like he would never reprise that role ever again, even though Marvel it's not just technically could because of their contract. And I was like, damn, that's fucking ballsy. And then I was like, was this just like. Was he like? Was that a red herring the whole time? Like he was just like playing, playing it down, no. like you know no, stuff. And I looked it up afterwards. Like, it's, oh, it's the guy from the Walking Dead. I was like, what? I was like mind blown. Yeah. So we get um, this moment of sacrifice here that, that the villain is worth you know capable of doing. Um, I thought that was a funny sequence though. For not funny, but um, actually that's the wrong word. Not in this movie because there was actual humor sequences. That that was an amazing sequence with Gamora where she realized that he actually did truly care for her. Uh, and she's like, oh, that's careful, like, love. And that, yeah. that I thought was cool because he's like, you have to sacrifice, you know, something you love. And she's like, ha, you love nothing. And he's like crying. And she's like, you're crying. And then it's goes like, yeah, he's so not she tries, crying. To, she tries to kill herself. And yeah, <laughs> that one. And let's talk about that. I mean, uh, that's crazy. Roller coaster because, because, of emotions. Yeah. There. yeah. Because really... like, I mean, you just go from like asking your boyfriend or booty call, whatever, whatever you want to call it, to kill you to uh, trading uh, your sister's life for the soul stone, which endangers the universe to realizing, you know, the, this dude that like practically wiped out half your planet, probably killed your mom, kidnapped you and raised you for years is about to kill you. So you, in an act of desperation, you grab the knife to try to kill yourself. And he's just like, nah, bubbles. And it's just like, man, that's like so fucked up. Like, yeah. So you can't even go out on your own terms. Like that's big. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> that was, yeah. And then he throws her over the ledge and it's, it's the end of that character. Yep. I'd hope so, kind of, because I feel like there's like maybe two deaths and these are the ones we talked about so much that will actually stick. Yeah. I think I, that might be one of them. I think that Heimdall's gone, and I think that I think she's gone too, permanently. I'm not, I mean, maybe, gone. maybe not. There's some some people have said like, oh, maybe she's trapped in the soul zone or some bullshit like that. I don't know why, but it's a possibility, I suppose. It's a sacrifice that took her soul. Yeah. yeah. So I thought so. that was a great moment. I I really like this villain. Like, I, I think he was great. I really like this villain. Um, I and I told you, villains make the movie for me. They really do. Um, so um, I like I like the sequence villain. real quick. As soon as like that happened, um, and it shows hit like a, I think it shows him like floating in the water, and then it pans up to like this eclipse in the background, and everything's like dark and red, obviously because you know the blood and whatnot. Um, but the visuals and the imagery there are like really cool. It evoked um. If anybody's seen like the Berserk anime, um, an iconic scene uh, where a character pretty much the same thing, like just totally goes like, "Yeah, I'm going to the dark side. Like, fuck <laughs> this, fuck humanity, like all that kind of stuff." But yeah, I thought that was yeah, that was cool. So we get um, Stark. Um, let's see, Peter Parker, Stark, and Doctor Strange on the Maw <laughs> ship now. Yeah, uh, which I thought was um, <laughs> did anybody see Aliens? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, kid. It was really funny. One more pop culture that... reference. Uh, I don't know about that one. I felt like that was one too far, but yeah, well, that's it was what all right. Tony Stark made him made him aware of that. Don't worry. Yeah, so, I know. Um, yeah, so we had uh, that whole sequence with the mall, who was really powerful. I thought that really showed how powerful he was. It was really cool. But then, uh, obviously, the the quick decision of taking him, t- sending him out the airlock by destroying the side of the ship, essentially, yeah. uh, was a cool cool idea. Um, and a good sequence. Um, so we had um, that done. Where they they and then they decide. Well, I think that's a big decision there from Tony to go to Titan, uh, to, oh, to, yeah, to his home planet. Okay, well, part of it was like it was a fake decision that he took credit for because they really couldn't just figure out how to turn the thing around anyway. He's like, well, like the, yeah, the, this is one of my gripes here. All right, when Doctor Strange, Strange is saying, "How the heck are we gonna get back now if you can't fly this thing?" It's like, uh, dude, you're a wizard. This, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's one of my things too. But um, I don't know. Like I could sort of understand if like um, the portal stuff didn't work. Like it was that I don't distance. know proximity based. Yeah. yeah. The the thing with the magic stuff is sort of weird too. It seemed a little bit like Thanos and his flunkies or <laughs> weren't that familiar with magic. Like they just were like what well, is this stuff that he was doing? Well, Ma this? was Ma Ma even like 
kind of shit talk him. He's like, "Oh, I bet you're popular with the children and stuff like that." <laughs> I guess, but like I don't know. They, it seemed to like like Doctor Strange really seemed to have the only like stuff that could like combat them. Yeah. Well, know. right. It's all like you know. He has the mystic arts, which is you know what he's. I'm sure Maul was using space magic, which is you know something completely different because he didn't use like the I don't know whatever those things that appear on their <laughs> the, the discs or whatever. Yeah. His martial arts of magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we have. <laughs> he does his ninjutsu at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have. He um, does. He does. We have them landing on Titan eventually, and uh, Doctor Strange using the Time Stone. And uh, looking all weird at first, and well, actually, let's first they run into Quill, and they, you know Peter Quill. <laughs> if you want me to do that for you guys, Starlight. Yeah. Uh, oh, you kept calling him Peter. I'm like, I don't know him as Peter. I think yeah. of Parker. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I, I never even realized they had the same first name until now. Oh, okay. Well, there you go, <laughs> Martha. We got three yeah. Chris's in this, like real actors named Chris. Yeah. Um, so we have them running into each other, which I thought was a great hero on hero action sequence. Um, it made sense for the heroes to fight each other. Because yeah. they didn't know who they were. It's like, you don't know these people. Yeah. So it was a great introduction to, to, yeah. to them. Because obviously really... they're both there for the same thing. Yeah, but it was really I, cool. I, and, uh... <laughs> I had a little uh, um, objection to, like, Star-Lord being able to pretty much own Spider-Man like that. I'm like, really? But whatever. Yeah, he's I was still waiting getting his for powers him. under control. He's a kid. You could yeah. throw him. He already caught, like, cars and stuff. You should chuck mm-hmm. that dude, like, 40 feet away if he grabs around his yeah. shoulder like that. So uh, yeah, I'm sure he could have broken out of it, but like it, I don't, I don't think it, uh, you know Spider-Man was really trying to, uh, you know, defend himself like that. Yes. We also established that Star Wars is pretty powerful with his father's heritage. He doesn't, yeah, but, he but we don't. I don't think he has any of that anymore. Uh, maybe not. He's yeah. just a human now. Yeah. But anyway, um, I like the Mexican standoff where, you know, uh, it, it, uh, take out my cool guy, is holding. Take yeah, it's like fine. You take out my guy. I'll take out him. It's just like. It's like Pete. It's like Quill. Do it. I can take it. It's like no, you can't. No, you, can't. It's like, no, you really can't. Like, <laughs> Drax is like, dude, what the fuck, man? Like, yeah, Drax was a great like, part of it. He's like, let me ask you, what master do you serve? Mask? What am I supposed to say? Jesus? Like, Wait, you're from Earth? I'm no, from, I'm from Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> Missouri's on Earth, dipshit. Just like every interaction that Tony had with any of the Guardians, you could just see the look on his face, like. This is what this is, I have to deal real. with now. This like I had it so good with the Avengers. Why? Well, like I yeah. have to deal with these fucking losers. <laughs> At this point, I will say this group now. There, that group was my favorite group going forward, and I kind of was a little almost annoyed when we cut to anyone else at that point. Well, I wanted to keep seeing what they were doing. I liked. Um, well, they obviously um, had Strange doing the fourteen million visions of possible futures, and it said they only won one. They got that statement out. That was uh, crazy. Yeah. Uh, so oh. That was impressive. Uh, and then they move over to um, Wakanda with Rogers and all them arriving. And uh, I thought this the worst line of the movie was the Starbucks. Uh, I don't know. I just didn't think that was a good line. I was like, yeah, that was kind of. I don't, I don't remember it. What yeah. was it? So, uh, oh, sure. I didn't when you said I you were opening up Wakanda, I thought we were going to get Starbucks, Olympics, maybe a Starbucks. Yeah. Olympics, yeah. A Starbucks. yeah. Like, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we have them arriving in Wakanda, and you get you know mm-hmm. them actually. You know, a little fun with James Rhodes. Is it, is it with uh, do I do I bow? He's a king. He's a king. Yeah, he's a king. Uh, like, oh, we don't do that. Bruce Banner yeah. being the little bitch in this. Yeah, movie. again, Bruce Banner right. being the worst character of the movie. Um, just yeah. So I I, I thought that further that, but um, yes, yeah, so we had and that then, whole well, sequence with uh, you know Cap and uh, Bucky again. Yeah, we had mm-hmm. that reunion Meeting finally mm-hmm. of uh, you know. Bucky with his uh, with another arm again, which is cool. Yeah. Um, which we're guessing and, is uh, vibranium. vibranium arm, uh, which won't break this time. And uh, we have matter, them though. trying to examine vision, and we have the fact that it could take like a billion different ways yeah. to, to separate the I like, trillions. I like how Shuri is like, why'd you do it this way? You could have done it like this. And he's like, uh, I would have loved, you know, I would have loved to have seen. By the way, though, Tony, like I would have loved to actually seen Stark talking with the Wakandan yeah, people. Yeah, I would have. That would have been I great. Absolutely would have. What's funny is like obviously this film was being developed and filmed during or like like right after Black Panther or whatever and it's like they had no idea that Black Panther was gonna be as huge as it as it yeah. was. And it's like yeah. if they did, like I bet you we've seen a lot more Wakanda in the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. They would have cashed in on that more. But um mm-hmm. not that they needed to with this box office we'll get into in the actual movie cast, but um so yeah, we have that whole sequence, uh, and then we have the um, Thanos army 
arriving to invade. Uh, <laughs> Where did they come from? I did like how the shield just like repelled those ships immediately coming in. Like it shows how great like Wakanda oh, like, is. I love this city. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I love this place. So yeah, we get um, zombie dogs. Banner in the Hulkbuster armor. Yep. Um, we get uh, yeah, we get zombie dogs. Um, but yeah, so we get. Uh, I, do we go right into the fight sequence there? Yes. Yeah, they start fighting the zombie Pretty dogs. Close. Yeah. Yeah. So they go right into that. And one of the best parts, like I thought, was when Cap and Black Panther just, like, just like run ahead. Yeah. yeah. Just like show how much more powerful they are than everybody yeah. else, sprinting at everyone. And then actually looked realistic. Like sometimes when you have like people running with like slight superpowers, you're like, well, that looks dumb. But they looked like people sprinting like athletes, like just a little quicker though. Yeah. <laughs> I like the I like that scene too. Yeah, I liked when they um, sprinted ahead. Um, Black Panther and Cap. I thought that was awesome. That's what we were just talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. I know I was reading. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get ahead of here so we can get the, the plot. So, um, yeah. So we had, uh, let's see. Where are we here? Now I already lost they're, where I was. They're fighting the parademons. Yes, yeah, so they're mean... fighting that. And we go back to... <laughs> Zomdogs. Um, yeah. yeah, we have Outriders, Thanos. We have Thanos arriving in his planet now. And we have a nice little alter, uh, you know, a whole run-in with the, the plan of the other Avengers there. Um, and... Uh, I thought that was a cool sequence with them trying to just subdue him, and their, the plan was to rip the gauntlet that, off I think his that hand. That was, was my favorite um, sequence yeah. of the movie, yeah. honestly. That, was, that fight. I thought it was awesome. That fight. I thought um, it really just illustrated um, how how powerful Thanos yeah, was. Yeah, I agree. You know, he shows up. Iron Man like just wrecks, like just crashes something huge at him, and it's like all he did, all he does was piss him off, and he's just like sling these people around. Um, which, by the way, like I loved every part of this fight sequence. Everything um, on Titan was probably the amazing. best parts. Of yeah. yeah, I think you're Absolutely. right. I think you're right. Um, you had, um, you know, Star Lord being uh, pretty uh, effective, uh, where you know Strange was distracting Thanos, and then Quill Strange was jumping portals. on the on the portals, slapping then... the bomb back on him, was like boom, and then just like you know falls back into a portal, like you know the, to not die in the explosion. Spider Man, like magic here, magic, magic, here. magical, magic with a kick, magic with a, and then just like yeah. it's. I mean, like, it's, I don't know. I yeah, thought that was a really bit. I thought that was a bit over the top with the comic comedian there, the com- comic stuff there. That's Spider Man. That's your Spider Man. No, 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 I'm not talking about him. I'm like, like and, Peter Quill, like, and that's Peter Quill, Quill for you too. Like, I like mean, these are these characters. Like, yeah. I wouldn't expect anything less from either. You're of them. not seeing that from Doctor Strange, but it's like it's that. Those are the characters. I thought I that like, they. I did like the strange conversation with Thanos, where Thanos shows him the planet before. Yeah. and yeah, I thought that was like, really cool. And then what? And then what? And it's like, yeah, well, you know. Uh, and that that what you do mention, I'm glad you brought that up, Jim, because like I really liked how it was an, a, a battle of uh, ideology, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. ideology there, because yep. he, you know, in, in Thanos' mind, he's not doing anything wrong. He no, is he's actually saving you. In his mind, he's one hundred percent correct. Eco terrorist. Yeah, he's one hundred percent correct. Yeah. It's kind yeah, of funny that way. Yeah, they, it is. They took away the whole like, I mean, he's not really a mad Titan here. He's well, he saw like no. A, he's, he mentioned extremely they pragmatic Titan. <laughs> they said they called him mad when he decided that he that half his population should. be I know, but like destroyed. he's not as unhinged as you would expect him to be. Like going. No, into but this. I don't, I don't think he'd be unhinged. In the yeah, comics, like, he's more crazy. unhinged. I would think if he's trying to do this to impress Death, which is did not enter this at all. No, I think well, they did right. a fantastic job giving Thanos motivations that made sense in this universe. Because yeah. you can't introduce a character and just be like, all of a sudden, like this character is obsessed with this character. And we don't know anything about either character. You had to kind of give it more of a, I guess, a, a realistic um, motivation. Yeah. And he's saying, and I, I do like the speech with um, Gamora earlier, where he's like, "This is a finite universe with finite resources, resources. and we are finite. Like yeah. we need to, you know, do something about it." But at the same time, he's obviously crazy because if he has the Infinity Gauntlet, he doesn't have to kill half the people. Maybe he makes, makes it. <laughs> more resources. Like, no, <laughs> yeah, sure. like, it's like you chose to do this one because you're obviously crazy. But at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Well, that's also kind of the problem once you actually like look at the Gauntlet. Like they could do anything. So well, that's like, what I'm just saying. Like, why, does, I'm saying like, he does, why does anyone do anything once they have it? It's just like, why does he even whole, have henchmen? Why doesn't he just he, see where everything is automatically and just go there and get it? Like, I right. don't know. Exactly, and that's well, why. Well, by the that, end, yeah, he didn't need any of that shit. And that's why it makes his. It, it's just it's a little bit of a problem with something that's so all powerful. Like if you really want to examine it too closely, it's like, well, nothing actually makes sense. But well, I mean, it's the fine. whole point is character. Well, well it's, I thought that I thought that the his, his past experience, and he's not willing yeah, to look past. I mean, I thought them figuring out 
what Thanos had done to get the Soul Stone was more convenient, Mike, than anything? Like, trying to, like, wait, they just came up with the no, fact I, that he killed Gamora? I, f- I feel like I thought Nebula that was had a good reason to know that. They went because, to get the Stone, I mean, it was, left, it and one of them came for... back. As soon yeah. as the two of them were going there, I'm like, well, this is going to happen. Yeah. Like, I <laughs> I knew yeah. that. Like, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but no, um, I thought they explained it. Like... But I, I just love that sequence when, like, like the plan came to fruition. Because, um, like, you had, like, um, uh, Strange using the chains of whatever to yeah. uh, prevent him from closing uh, his, his gauntlet to Ira's fist. Uh, you yeah, had Spider-Man right. wrapping his web after, you know, Star-Lord had used, like, that, I don't know, electric magnetic thing mm-hmm. to pull his other arm away. Um, it was a team effort. Then, it was a team effort. Right, and then you had Mantis dropped yep. onto him to like you know subdue him, uh, and then Iron Man and Peter, uh, Spider Man are just trying to pry that gauntlet off. And Star Lord shows up. He's like, you know, I thought you'd be harder than this. By the way, this is my plan. And he's like, oh okay. And he's like, where's Gamora? And he's like, oh no, dude, like you're gonna fuck this up. You're gonna fuck this up so bad. And then <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Like I thought he did a phenomenal job this movie acting. Um, I really loved when you know you could see uh, Peter Quill getting like more and more pissed off and then like when the breaking point uh iron man's like don't do this like we almost got this gauntlet like you gotta relax and do you think in this scene that they used a practical thanos face because it kind of looked like that when they were getting like way up in his face do you think that happened or not no that was the cg so are you sure i just think they did a fantastic job they did a fantastic job with that cg with him they did that was cg 100 percent mike why? Why? Because I read Why about it today. I read about it. Read about it. The <laughs> yeah. whole thing was CG. Yeah. yeah. There was no practical stand in there that they. No, applied. not with Thanos. Thanos was 100% CG. Uh, I bet. I don't know. I feel okay, like. It so looked, anyway, let's not talk about. I felt like it looked cast. different there because it was it was important that it, it everything looked more grounded and yeah, face to face. Because you can do that. good CG nowadays if you actually spend time mm. on it. I mean, like, there wasn't all good CG in this movie. No, then, but, but they spent a shit least, ton of time on Thanos. They focused on certain yeah. aspects of it, for um, sure. That's what they even talked about. They, the the children got the least of the time, as you could see. That that who was the the female character? She, she looked awful. She looked horrible. <laughs> Um, also, at the end, late in the movie, like Rhodes looked like cyborg, like in Justice League, he looked exactly like that. I don't know what was yeah, going on there. Yeah, they lost that, that was too. bad. Uh, so we have. Um, yeah, that whole plan fails. Um, he basically... Um, Peter Quill fucks it up for everyone. Yeah. He basically yeah. des- destroys, you know, takes apart, like, picks apart the team. And they get and the then, gauntlet off, too, and he just grabs it. and Grabs just, like, it and picks it back up, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you have Tony Stark then as a hostage at that point where Doctor Strange has to Oh, well, hold on. I really like the, the Doctor what Strange versus Thanos fight. Oh, that was because cool. Because that, yeah. that's what happened because he, uh, you know, he renders the Guardians useless for a little while and then his, Doctor Strange is taking them off. And, like, there was this battle where, like, you know, he threw a spell, and then Thanos, like, took it and, like, used the gauntlet to throw it back at him. And it felt like, you know, just, like, going back and forth. And then I thought one of the really cool subtleties in the movie is when he turned uh, Strange, like, dispelled the attack from Thanos and, like, turned it to, like, butterflies. And, like, you see Thanos, like, like for a, a second, he's, like, confused. He's, like, what is this? And he's, just, like, okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> and it just totally bitch slaps the hell out of Strange. Um, I love when he's like, you know, all this, and you didn't even use your most powerful weapon, you know, uh, and it's a fake, and he just crushes the. Uh, he knew that. Yeah, he's a brilliant, 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 brilliant. But brilliant, then yeah. that fight between Iron Man and Thanos was, oh, I love that. Like just that, like one minute where he's just going all out, uh, just yep. and just like how tearing off pieces of the armor here and there. It keeps it getting like less and less, less and, and less like nano. Yeah. yeah, trying like, like yeah. What I really allocate the armor to different yeah, spots. Yeah, like the nanotech just like shifting yeah. to become like armor. No, that was like that needed. fight was fantastic. Yeah, and I was like, good. Tony Stark goes out. Iron Man goes out this way. Yeah, and <laughs> that's what it was when he like did, made that like glass sword to like kind of stab him, and he like caught it, broke it, and then just shoved it right back in. And yeah. like the music just stops like right there, like boom. Oh, and there was there was like an audience of just gas in my in my theater. It's just like <gasps> like everybody's like. <laughs> oh shit! Like he, that's it. He's gonna die. And again, Robert Downey Jr. with the acting, I thought he really played that well. Where he's just like you know, uh, panting, gasping, bleeding. Oh just yeah, like yeah. Looking I, thought he, I thought maybe he was gonna die there. I did. Yeah. Yeah. And then no, the and that's why I was like, wow, he, like this this moment and that that fight sequence with him like really showed like this is Marvel's like poster boy, and you yeah. gave him a great send off. Like, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. fantastic. Yep, that's exactly what it is. And I loved Thanos' speech to him. He's like, you know, I, I respect you, Stark. Um, I know you, know, you. I know you, and when when I'm done, you know, half of humanity will still remain, and I hope they remember you. I'm like that's yeah. it. Like he's not even shit talking or anything. He's like giving him genuine <laughs> respect. And it's just yeah. like, 
Oh, shit. And then, you know, uh, Doctor Strange is like, stop. And once again, Thema sacrifice. He sacrifices the time stone to save uh, Tony Stark. Yep. Uh, which and has this to be... is, uh, yeah, like you, you were going to say, but it's got to be part of the, the, the vision one, of the plan. Yeah, yeah. One, absolutely. Because he's like, we're in the end game now. That's what he says. We're in the end game now. Yeah. You know? um, um, yes. It's the only way. This is the only but way. Like you could even, as sorry, we get from they, him later. They, they need Tony to do something. Yes. Yeah. This is the only way. Next. <laughs> but I just thought it was really cool because I, I don't think we mentioned going back, but when they had the, the Tony Stark and Doctor Strange had their their face off, he's like. Fine, we'll do your plan, but I just want you to know that if it comes between saving you or the kid or the time stone, I won't even hesitate to let you both die. And it's just like, all right, good, moral compass. There well, that's go. that's why. Yeah, but I think that's right. what proves no, about no, this I, plan really. I mean, there's no, I know. I just thought it was really here. cool, like how yeah. you know they, they they fit that in. Um, but then you could see Tony, like even though he was like about to die, he's like, why'd you do that? You know, like that, just that, you know, that heartbroken. The like feet, you yeah. did all this shit, and then it you just give nothing. it to him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I um, think. Um, I think that uh, yeah, that was a great sequence, but uh, we have you know we can go back over to Earth now with Wakanda. We've got to mention Thor, Thor's arrival here with well, with this all is where you know, after Thor gets the Stormbreaker. Yeah, all things look good. Teleports using the Bifrost right into the middle of the battle, which the Stormbreaker you know, can call it for some reason. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever, MacGuffin. Yeah. You know. Yep. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we get a nice little reunion there with um with Cap and Thor. I thought that was that was yeah. a huge. Uh, uh, audience applause in my theater, like when um, I the think theme, Thor comes the Bifrost. Down. Thor, Thor comes down after the like the axe and they play the Avengers theme yeah. and like I mean, the things are like, so dire before yeah, that exactly. and then it's and just like the, boom this god like, comes down like here I'm here to save everybody yeah. it's like yeah, yeah like, hell yeah let's get and this I love going he's like, he's like bring me Thanos and he just runs at him and he's like okay that's cool but then like you know he charges up the axe jumps into the air and I love I love what um, happens with Thor ever since Ragnarok like just when they're showing him powered up like with the eyes glowing and like mm-hmm. the, the little circles on his armor and just like the, you know, the super lightning god powers. And they do the callback with the reverse callback again with Hulk saying like, "Oh, now you're fucked." And instead of everybody being like, "Oh, Hulk's here now, you're fucked." It's like, "Yeah, yeah. well now Thor's here now, you're fucked." Yeah, yeah. exactly. That was cool. Uh, yeah, so we have him destroying stuff. It was great. Uh, and eventually, we get the Thanos arrival here. Um, oh, and um, just real quick, we gotta say like, it was. I like the touch with um Wanda like being up there, and then like when she does oh. come down, they're like, "Oh, now go in," because like that was the plan. The yeah. chick's like, "Why isn't she here this whole time?" It's like, uh, "Well, they're actually waiting for her to come down, and yeah. now they're gonna." That was their plan. Yeah, yeah. So they got her out. Then when they went after Vision uh, to try to get the last stone there, and um... <laughs> Vision. Yeah, Vision was on the run and falling apart the entire time. So we get like the showdown between the children and you know cap and and uh all the other we get like the you know nice little team up fights here a little bit and uh we get actually all the the, the female characters there uh teaming up um yeah you know, to yeah. kill yeah. process that's a nice moment you're gonna die alone she's not no, alone she's not. yeah, yeah. Uh, and then like as soon as she gets shredded you, know, you see the blood on uh scarlet um black widow yeah. black widow yeah. black widow's uh, face and she's like that's so gross it's like oh god <laughs> okay um whatever but uh and then like real quick like in the in the middle of the fighting what one part i really liked was when uh rocket and uh winter bucky. soldier bucky were just like yeah. shooting and then like some some of the zom dogs are coming <laughs> and he just picks up rocket and just like starts like like doing like that it's just like all right it's so goofy but whatever it's funny i love, I love then, the fact that the arm the arm he's like yeah, get the he's arm. like he's like how, how much, much for the gun, the gun? It's not, for sale. It's not for sale all right what about the arm and the bucky just kind of looks at him like Okay, strange raccoon, and just like, oh, I'm gonna get me that arm. And it's like, all right, like, there we go. That Rocket works the because you know the history of the yeah. other movies. Yeah, with the eye. Yeah, exactly. eye. Well, I did now like... we know. We know how Thor got his eye back. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would have watched that. <laughs> so uh, we get Thanos but yeah, so uh, and then you know the thing with um, Bruce Banner. I know you guys are great. Like, you guys are bigger Hulk fans than I am because I, I I don't really. Oh, care I don't Hulk. like the Hulk either. But like this just reminded me of like the one thing I didn't like in Spider Man Two, with the web tile dysfunction. It's just like, <laughs> oh, plot reasons why you can't use like a big ability. Okay. Your best your best <laughs> weapon. Yeah. But, what was the uh, as your best weapon? Yeah, like whatever. I'm sure it'll come into play in the next movie. But um, I thought it was kind of cool where it showed like Bruce had to be um a little bit uh self-reliant on you know him and like his ingenuity with like the hulkbuster suit and still trying to like you know contribute to the fight and stuff like that yeah, and, uh, yeah. i like the the way he got rid of um the dwarf, the black black dwarf, dwarf. What, yeah whatever his name i thought was. all the, the deaths well not all but i thought the deaths were pretty good for those yeah. guys yeah black Order, yeah whatever they were. i think so 
So we get Thanos' arrival. We get um, we get uh, Wanda having to try to destroy. The, well, she um, does destroy. Well, yeah. Well, we'll get to that in a second. So we do get a showdown between was it Cap and well, him fighting basically. Well, right they there? all they all went out. Nobody really and... fought. Well, he <laughs> caught his hand. He caught his hand. Yeah, he, uh, Captain America is stronger than Hulk confirmed. <laughs> I mean, they call like they none of them did much of anything, and yeah. he just catches his hands like, ah, oh, and then sounds like, eh, okay, and then he just pulls. Well, I think Thor did a lot. Well, we're right, but he's not there. Well, he's not he, there yet. He was busy blowing so everything up. Thing, still, and obviously Wanda knows that Vision knows this is that you have to do this. It's all about sacrifice again, uh, and she basically and finally she has the balls to do it. it. She's the only one because everyone does it. Like everyone does it in this movie. Like you think sometimes because a lot of times people just don't do it and. Captain America is kind of against the whole idea himself. He puts that in. in he, we don't. What does he say? We don't trade lives. Trade lives. That's right. Yeah. But everyone else is like, yeah, but here we will. <laughs> yeah. I think more it's like Cap wants to avoid it if possible, and they pr- propose the an even alternative. He says to a vision. Even says to him like, "You gave up your life to save millions. Like, you know, we'll yeah, try to sure. avoid it if we can." Yeah, but exactly. um, I um, thought it was the one time, like all the heroes don't get the chance to actually do it and she actually has to do it and then yeah, and i love the i love vision speech to her he's like he's like you have to do this, this is the only way i you know my life against you know billions or whatever. Uh, yeah. that's right trillions or whatever it's it's you know uh, it's insurmountable and it's yeah, one versus it's worse that it has to be you that does this like I, i'm sorry it's unfair that it has to be you mm-hmm. and like um i'm not really like a particular Ols- like big olsen fan but like i thought she did a good job in the yeah, sequence. Like, if you watch, like, her, like, she's, like, emotion on her face. Like, it's just, like, she's yeah. obviously gripping with the terms, like, yeah, yeah this is the only option left. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's just, like, plowing through all the Avengers, just, like, you know, toss it left and right and whatnot. Um, and then, you know, she's, like, beaming Vision with one arm and then, you know, slowing Thanos down with a one. And then, you know, right before he dies, he's, you know, he whispers out, like, oh, you know, I love you. And he's, like, boom, huge explosion. And you're, like, oh, shit, okay, they actually did it. And uh, again, just like Thanos is like, like calm, like he's like, I understand my child, and he yeah. like just like pats her on the head. He's like, I understand, you know, this, this day, you know, uh, blah blah blah. And she's like, you'll never understand. And he's like, oh, but I do, and you know, whatnot. He's just like his, his lines though, like his like the lines that he has, like every um, but he's like Rubak or every book or whatever, like the things that they say to him, and then his like comebacks are like so so good, and he's like. So that moment there where like she's like you have no idea like whatever and it's like oh I've lost more today or than you'll ever, ever you know, know. Yeah. or whatever it's like it's taking a heavy toll or whatever today's taking a heavy toll it's like cool. such good stuff yeah, and like it was really the good. character is so not sympathetic but like relatable it's it's so what he's trying to do I like you really <laughs> I, it's hard like, what is the word like you can like they really make I mean they're really trying to make him sympathetic I feel like but it didn't hit for me that much because it's just like yeah but like the way they like introduce him, like it's just like, well, he's just gonna kill everyone, so fuck him. Well, he's yeah. not just gonna kill everyone. He's gonna kill. But that's the thing. Everyone. He didn't really kill anybody, um, in, unless they were trying to kill him or, uh, you know. Yeah, he was very. Right. The other it's, 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 it just we, we get him and he has the time stone, killing. so he reverses the time for, of what that happened with the you yeah, know, and stone then, yeah. and destroyed. And picks up vision, and you could. I, that's the thing I, I'm curious to know if like Vision knew like Time Rewind because like there's a expression on his face where he like sees yeah, Thanos in front of him. Yeah. So I'm not sure if like that was just like he's like it's like I was talking to Wanda like a second ago. This doesn't make sense. Or like he is like I'm supposed to be dead. But either way, he looks confused. Thanos just picks him up and just like plucks that fucking mind stone out of him like it's a fucking yeah. Uh, just, just... I, I don't know like like you know a thorn or something like yeah. that. And he's just like the crater in fucking Vision's head. I was like. Holy shit! I mean, I know it's a robot and everything like that, but like, I thought that was pretty gruesome. He's just like, and then he just you know, goes monotone. Yeah, he does the Optimus Prime thing where like he turns the to black and gray, and he's just like, like toss him to the side. Um, and real quick, like, for fucking uh, Wanda, that that's gotta suck. So like, you just had to deal with the emotional baggage of killing your boyfriend to save the universe, <laughs> and only to have again. this dude motherfucker rewind time, bring your boyfriend back, only to kill him himself. It's yeah, so, like, I just had to watch twice. that. You die twice, like. That's super fucked up, like super fucked. Up. Get, but anyway, um, yeah. Then we get then we get Thor's arrival finally after all this goes down, where he goes for the kill well, shot. Stonebreaker is power more powerful than the Gauntlet, apparently. <laughs> it is. Oh, he well they built it like that. They said that was going to be the case, so we knew it. It was prepped us, and uh, he went you know goes right in and stabs him, and then we have the should have gone for the well, head. 
I just liked it when, uh, you know, he threw it at him. You know, Thanos did the beam. But, like, you know, I, at this point, I was expecting, like, oh, he's going to do something to the axe or whatever. Yeah. It's like, nope, it actually hit him. I was like, oh, shit. And then, like, he cu- comes down. Um, and, like, you could see, like, that's fucking cleave right in him. It's like, oh, shit. And then I, I think Thanos like, was surprised, too. He's like, wait a second. This yeah, exactly. He was confused. And, like, how, like, Thor just, like, holds his head and, like, goes to the axe. He's like, I told you you'd die for that. And, like, just pushes it in a little bit more. And he's like, yeah. oh, shit. Like, okay. Like, that's. This is good. really fucked up for a PG-13 movie. Yeah, that um, was really good. Well, I mean, then the ending after that with the kids well, in the like, theater. Oh. Yeah, well, Thanos' line is <laughs> just perfect. He's like, you should have aimed for the head. And yeah. he just snapped his fingers. It's like, yeah, and they, then, they, 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 they did it, man. They, what I mean, did if you, you knew with the comic, like, you know what was, was happening there. It's like, and you're like, oh, shit, they did it. Like, yeah, that's well, when, like, it got real. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah. See, for me, that's when it got fake because they killed the like, characters oh, that we know are getting movies yeah it's just like so everything that was happening after that, i'm like well this like i was disengaged at this one like well this isn't going to really matter but i guess See, the thing be a good, I, I can this understand will be a good criticism. shock for everyone who doesn't really know what's going to happen but right. for everyone else it's just like okay we know, we I, don't know think that's, I think it's like I, so, I, I think that's like well, i understand for, the people that say that, Mike, yeah, but that like, but i understand mike's criticism go ahead Corey, go on <laughs> I, was talking, ahead, I was talking to Tony, so big go ahead, go ahead. No, I, was, I know. I'm just saying, like, I understand where you're coming from, Mike, and I get that. But in that moment, like, I wasn't thinking, oh, what's going to happen in the next movie? What's going to be the contracts and, like, all these different things outside of it? Like, I was separated from those things at that time. And I was like, this is awesome. They did it. Well, this is exactly what I wanted. And then we'll, <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see what happens in the future. I, but to, I was wondering at who that moment, the... like, I wasn't thinking about Spider-Man 2. I was wondering who was going to fade away. Uh, and that was I was like, who's going? And it was like first thing was Bucky. I was like, well, that was that was quick. And uh, yeah, and then Black Panther. Um, and then Black Panther. Black Panther. And as once, soon as he went away, Black I'm like, Pan- and once Black Panther went through, it's like, well, okay, this isn't going to stick at all. Yeah, I thought well, it could stick if it was Bucky. Outside, so. Yeah, I thought it would stick if it was Bucky. I was like, oh shit, this well, could maybe, be like but deaths. Again, you're not going to also kill half of the populace of this universe so, for good either <laughs> yeah here's here's the ending where they all faded away uh with 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 tom Holland with you know peter parker spider-man being the longest fade away i've ever seen mm-hmm. in, uh, that was like i mean everybody else i was just like it happened so quick and like nobody really showed any like pain anything so, any it, pain was, anything it like seemed that? very inconsistent some people were just like didn't even realize it happened other people were like oh i feel weird yeah. Uh, so well, he was just like, well, no, no. Peter was uh, Spider Man was the only one that said anything about it. Everybody else just like, yeah, everybody faded. Like, it was, talk, uh, he was either so talking had, to somebody else or just faded away. We had um, Bucky. We had uh, the Black Panther, T'Challa. We had uh, Groot. Uh, we had oh, Wando faded away. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, if you if you if you rewatch it again, when um, Scarlet Witch is is fading away, she doesn't seem all that. Um, Upset about it. Upset or anything, and then I think it's because like she's, she's lost just everything. Burnt out. Yeah, she's like, yeah, she's out. like, uh, it's like she's thank like, God. Yeah, it's like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm out of my with this. Out of my pain. Out of my. And so we had Wilson. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mantis. Drax. <laughs> I mean, like, does it matter? All the guardians. guardians all the guardians are gone. <laughs> yeah, except for Rocket. Uh, Doctor Strange, obviously, right there. And that's where we get the line with this. It had to be this way. Had to be this way. I think that's what he said. Yeah. Um, and and then lastly, Peter Parker. Yeah. Uh, so that, basically, that hit me off. Like that yeah. was that was the worst because it's like figure oh, out a wall and like they'd spare the kid. The and, children in the theater were just like, "What's happening?" Yeah, I, I, I think about well, this. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure if you were a kid, you'd be saying the same fucking thing. Yeah, I know. I don't think kids should watch this movie. I think it's irresponsible for anyone to do like. Well, this is, this is them. Movie. This is them growing up. That's think fun. about right now. The team up and the next movie at the start of the next movie is going to be Tony Stark and Nebula. Yeah. That's all this but, uh, Titan. Fucking man. But, so, uh, uh, everybody's just disappearing. Just want to like, talk about that theory yeah. with Spider Man? Yeah, but like, you know, you hear Peter, because like Tony's just watching everybody just like poof out of it. You just hear, you know, uh, Spider Man's voice. is like, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. And you're just like, no, like, what's going on? And he just pans over and he's just like, I, you know, he just stumbles over, like, collapses onto to Tony. He's just like, I don't want to go. Wanna go. You know, I don't want to go. Please, you know, I don't, I don't want to go. Uh, and he like just lays down, and then he like apologizes, He's like I'm sorry, and he's just like shit, like and just like fades away, and just like. But the thing is, like, too, is like when he was dusting, like it looked like some of that got on Tony, because like you know Tony was on his knees and just like has like Peter Parker like dust on him, just like <laughs> so fucking like. What's the theory? Depressed. But the theory was that the his spider his... sense was letting him know that he was about to 
to die oh. because he was the only one that said like I feel weird. Oh, okay. I don't okay. feel. Sick. I guess so. Maybe that's cool. That's all. Like, it was keeping him uh, like because like everyone was like, why is he the only one that took forever? And it's like the theory is that uh, Spider Sense was keeping him alive because his body was trying to fight it because it knew it was coming, mm-hmm. but then it couldn't obviously. Um, all right. So then we also get old man Thanos on the porch with a glass of lemonade. Um, yeah, where did he go? I wonder where that went to was. Some planet. That was Kamora's uh, planet. Yeah, was it? Was it Kamora's oh. or was it his own planet? Uh, it no, wasn't his own. Yeah, with his own planet. He created. Yeah, yeah. yeah. his own anything. planet. There's yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, he made I think his Kamora is just based off of the fact <laughs> that, that he loves her. I could see that. I could see that. I think that like because now I'm not a fan of this theory, but there's people out there saying like he's still conflicted about what he did. About sacrificing Gamora, not necessarily the snap part, but sacrificing Gamora. Gamora. Um, but I, I could see him going to her planet because of his love yeah. for her, yeah. and because uh, he talks about how it's a, it's a paradise now, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and then one cool nod to the comics was when he steps out of there, like it shows a brief moment of like you know the the paradise, whatnot, and there's a scarecrow holding like wearing his armor, and like that's a nod to like one of the comics, and I was oh. like, oh, it's pretty cool. Cool. Uh, we get the post credit sequence with. Um... Maria. Well, real quick, I just want to talk about the credits, like how there was no music. It was just like, it was just like so somber. Like, memorial. Really just, <laughs> black, like, even black like black the title, white. where like they're like, you know, you just watch Avengers: Infinity War, and it's just like black and white and just dust as well. You're just yeah. like, this is so fucking heavy. Like even the logos at the very end, where it's like, you know, these are all the things. The one that stands out the most was Technicolor. Anytime you see that fucking logo in any movie, it's like the the color spectrum. A rainbow. And yeah, this rainbow. is black and white and like grayscale. Yep. This is like, oh my god. So and he says post- Thanos will return. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We get the post-credit sequence of uh, Nick Fury and Maria Hill, uh, with everything getting hit there, uh, fading away. Well, another neat nail in the coffin. And for, it's uh, the only time Jim's we really yeah. get like a good Jim's bet wins. Hard my bet win right there. Um, win. The uh, just just a chance for the Shield. two of them acting like any other aspect of Shield doesn't really exist at all. Oh, oh, oh the whole actors in the TV show. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say. Is like, yeah, this is the only awesome. part where we see the snap actually affect anything other than the heroes. It's like, oh, wow, this is yeah, actually well, happening around the world. But it would not it would be interesting to see, like, around the galaxy, just people puffing well, away. And we'll get this in the – we'll get the movie cast about the S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, show. But um, I, I didn't I didn't like the pager with the Captain Marvel logo on it. I'm yeah, like, no, I would have been excited if it was Coulson. Why couldn't <laughs> have just given, like, a, like a name on the pager? Instead of like the logo of Captain Marvel, because and, like, it's marketing. That's all the. These but nobody has any idea what that was. They just say like Harold Danvers they, or something. And like they'll that. look it up. I just say a majority of people in the get theater excited theater for like, Captain Marvel. Yeah, which oh they weren't God. before that. Like there were like cheers when that no, came nobody, on. Everybody in my theater. Was no, like, there what? was there was no yeah, reaction was like, to that. Really, right? my theater had so many cheers. No, people were like going nuts. No one cared about that at all. Everyone's like, this is not what we were looking for from that. But all right. All right. So let's get um. Let's get our overall views of this movie. Um, Mike, I know you've been mixed. Yeah, um, I'm, again, like, there's like some the, epic the, moments. Not the lowest on us, out of yeah. us. Stakes no, don't I... matter. <laughs> characters come back. Well, yeah, I mean, again, like, I don't... The source material, I don't like the storyline. It's just, like, shock value, but it won't matter in the long run. What's going to matter what ha- is what happens in the next one. I felt we spent way too much time trying to make a character that you really can't be sympathetic towards sympathetic uh at least for me like i was just like well you know fuck this guy i don't care I, it didn't seem like earned that he loved gamora so much since he like well, hadn't we seen her in so we long didn't get enough of their past because it was well like, i know and we've had like 10 years of movies and he, this is thanos's introduction to all but like two of his characters and mm-hmm. I, it was just this is the thanos introduction movie and i mean like it served his purpose well like that way but i just didn't I didn't feel like the uh, emotion for him was earned, really. Um, but, you know, I liked certain points of it. I liked the mix of humor that and the sense of dread. I kind of knew, though, like, from the beginning, the opening tone, I'm like, well, he's going to win this movie. <laughs> and, like, they're, they're not going to get anything, and they didn't. <laughs> um, which is, and so it's part one of two. I, at the end of the movie, I said this kind of reminds me of, like, that Walking Dead cliffhanger a little bit. Because now we have to wait a full year to just, like actually get the second part of this movie, even though they didn't say that they named it differently. But that's the way it is. Um, I don't know. So, with all that said, there was some great moments I liked, like Captain America, uh, even though he was in a just a little incorporation, incorporation of Wakanda. It was 
paced better than I thought it would, considering there was so much going on. There was only a few times where, like I said, I was like a little annoyed we cut away from one thing to get to the other. But most of the time, it was good. Um, and again, like I loved the team of Iron Man, uh, the Galactic Team, Doctor Strange, yeah, and Spider Man, and yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I, I loved that team, and I loved Thor once again going like cool. Cam. That said, I, I just I can't feel like all that satisfied with something that seems like half of the story and a little too much focus on things. And again, I don't like the whole powers that can do anything. So for me, it's like a 7.5 out of 10. Okay. Uh, Corey? I'm complete opposite, I think, on you, Mike. <laughs> uh, you mentioned how you liked Steve Rogers at Captain America. I thought he was I wasted think, in this. Yeah, I no, I mean, I liked him when he showed up, that that was an epic moment. But other than that, he was just a, a glorified... <laughs> what's funny is, like... When he showed up, it was epic. But other than that, he did feel like a glorified like... cameo in this movie. He didn't really yeah, do no, anything. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, he really didn't do much. Obviously, I hated... Um, not, I can't say hated, but I was disappointed that... Um, I didn't even was... mention the Hulk thing. Obviously, the Hulk, the Hulk got shot... The Hulk and Vision, two of the most powerful heroes in this universe, just I get shat on this whole movie. Vision, uh, Hulk, they just played it off wrong to me. But as far as Thanos goes, I'm completely opposite on you with that. Like, I, I just think don't like this character. Job. Uh, I thought Bro- Josh Brolin as the actor and the CGI that they did, just like pulling the emotions and the uh, facial expressions out of him uh, into the, the performance here for an all CGI character. Like we've seen CGI characters before, like. Yeah, and I would don't work all the time. I know? would venture to say this is the best CGI character since Gollum. In, yeah, in Lord of the I would. I agree. I mean, I agree. Like, his, his close-ups were good. Sometimes he was animated a little weird from like walking around standpoint. I thought, but like when he's yeah, in that, Titan he talking to them, and he goes and he sits like, down, it's a little his strange emotional look. cues and his facial expressions. I thought they nailed that, and the motivations they gave him, I thought were. What they, they needed they, to do. They didn't. They it didn't seem that. personal enough to me. That whole idea that he wanted to just be like an eco terrorist. Like if we like got a little more about like, you know why? Because like Superman could say the same thing. It's like I just I don't know. It didn't seem earned his motivation no, I mean, to like, do that. I understand you're saying it doesn't seem earned, but they spent two two oh, the two hours on this guy like essentially. Yeah, I know they spent a lot of time on him, but it didn't seem like it, he he him just restating why. Like, like this is what his but goal they, was. They did. He he said this is my goal because I could just do it with a snap of my fingers rather than going to planet to planet and doing it the hard way. Like, mm-hmm. uh, and I he mean, says multiple times, like he calls it a mercy. And, and yeah. the thing is, like, for him, this is like you have to look at it from his point of view. Like, he's not all there. Obviously, he watched his planet get destroyed, and he had a plan to save the planet, and it, it, that nobody thought that it was gonna work or nobody thought it was like a reasonable thing like to eliminate half the people who would like that's you don't yeah think if about somebody that said that like, right now in real world they'd be like no way that's uh, like uh you're not thinking right, you're dude. all there yeah and then it he proves himself right by things that happen on his planet and it gets destroyed and there's like basically it's a it's that's a, his motivation like it's destroyed so now he's got a single mind going into his like he needs to save the universe half the universe that is better than no universe him. And that's like I think that it worked, and the performance is where it like really came down. Like, yeah, the absolutely. Act, yeah, and I mean I'll agree with you because like constantly. the whole movie, the whole movie, he doesn't kill anybody unless like they're trying to kill. Like, yeah, again, it just it directly in place. does explain it. And the thing I like I get the gripes on are like the motivations before that. You don't know what they were. It seemed like he was just like this crazy like overlord who wants to like rule I just, the galaxy. And again, like I just find it like strange how like. Uh, Gamora and him were like on such different pages on like how, like how could she have not one, known like, that love he cared? Can go one way though, Mike. Like, yeah, like, people can love someone that they that doesn't love them. You know, like he still yeah. thought of her as his daughter and loved her as a daughter and thought that he was doing the best thing for her, making her the fiercest woman in the galaxy. Yeah. Uh, that's what he thought was best for her. You know, like there are a lot of fathers out there. Not I'm saying like an abusive father relationship is a good thing, but in this universe, that's what he thought was love and that's what he like i mean that's a whole nother can of worms like <laughs> you know? but uh like that's again like his motivations i thought were very yeah. consistent yeah we probably wouldn't just, consider that love but like, like to him was... that probably is love like right and exactly he, he, the thing the thing that gets me i guess he is so even keeled and pragmatic like it doesn't quite match like the whole idea is just like well i'm gonna just make everything awful for me like genuinely awful for myself just so I can, like, prove this point to, like, people who are dead, more or less. 
that if you get rid of half of everything. He's on a quest. He's on a mission. He sees himself as the savior of the universe. Like, that is literally what he sees himself as. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, I I suppose. But it just, I don't know. It just seems like there has to be something more personal there than other than like, oh, you know, stuff is being... Not when you're a crazy person. (laughs) But he doesn't come across... Like, maybe his parents died. Maybe his parents died in an alleyway after seeing a movie theater... And, you know, some, some robber just, like, shot his parents for money. Maybe that's his motivation, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know what, what's good enough for you. Like, oh, I really don't. His whole planet got destroyed His whole planet got fucked after up. He had, like, after he's like, this is what we need to do to save the planet. Like, no, we're not going to do that. And obviously, that does not make that much sense in that time point. But uh, then it, it clearly would have worked, yeah. So, uh, Corey, but, what do you give it? At? Uh, I'm going to say 9... 9.5. Oh, wow. 9.5. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll... Yeah, for me, Thanos was my favorite on-screen villain in the Marvel Universe. And Tony? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I loved... Uh, this was Thanos' movie. This should have just been called Avengers, like... Thanos. You know, Thanos initiative or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I just loved, you know, just mirroring everything that Corey said. Uh, but in addition to that, I loved uh, how they managed to fit all these characters in this movie um, without it feeling, like, too cramped. Like, obviously, some of the characters got shafted, like... Uh, like we said, Captain America didn't Wong, do much. Wong was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, fuck Wong. Wong. I don't know. He's a sidekick. It's like, uh, I mean, uh, Black Panther Black, got... Does Rock Panther... show up in Justice League? No. no. You know, it's, like, it's like, okay, like they're there, but like they didn't really uh, amount to much. But that's yeah. fine because yeah. you know, the, 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 the key players that were here were like just so, so awesome. Um, uh, like Mike had mentioned, Thor really kicked it up a notch. I think he's Thor, like... Thor, again, was my favorite character. Yeah, yeah just like so awesome in this. Um, you can really see his character art from like... Well, yeah, Thor one to like now, just like man, you've been on a journey. That um, haircut helps a lot too. It does. <laughs> <laughs> the beard, yeah, it's just like because the wig was it looks yeah, so just, fake. Going it looks back. so bad. Yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, the CG was cool. All the fight sequences were so cool. The the, the Russo brothers just know how to film. Uh, I have to say, um, watching like Winter Soldier and then going to Civil War and then going to this, I'm so glad they got to do those two movies first because yeah. I think it really helped oh, yeah. to like build that, like, oh, I'm going to do this movie, then I'm make it a bigger movie, now I'm going to make it a big movie. Big, yeah, big and spectacle. They, the filming of it was fantastic. I thought yeah. they did a great job. Yeah. And there was not a lot of that shaky cam. I can't no, understand yeah. what's going on. So Yeah, it was, everything was clear. I felt like uh, they got better each time filming yep. uh, and understanding how to do the ensemble. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then just to wrap it up, uh, I thought the pacing was really good for the most part. Uh, you know, there are some sequences that I think it's like a little jostled or whatever, but I mean, two and a half hours with that many characters and plot lines uh, is great. Um, as as like a, a standalone individual movie, like if I had to just do, do it, like, yeah, probably like eight, five, uh, maybe nine, but like as a culmination of like being rewarded for like <clears throat> watching every single movie for the past 10 years, I had to give it like a nine, five or something. Cause like, it's like, yeah, it, it just did like all the things I wanted. It, it introduced these characters who've never been together on screen before and just made it feel natural. It made it feel like a crossover event in the comic books, like when the Avengers meet, like, you know, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, when, you know, uh, Tony Stark, you know, runs into Doctor Strange, just like people for a man of science and a man of uh, uh, magic. magic. Man, meet together yeah. and like not only does that clash but their personalities and their egos just clash it's like yeah. you know dr douchebag and how does your head even fit in that helmet i don't even know and stuff like that it just it, it's just very rewarding as a fan um yeah. so on that merit I'd, I'd give it like a nine five cool yeah i think that um Thanos for me was a like fantastic villain uh i thought he was awesome uh and i didn't have any gripes like mike had with that i felt like we had enough explanation of his character this was his movie um mm-hmm. for what we needed um I did like the magic that was pulled uh, of tying all of these movies together and making each character feel like their character, not losing that feeling. Um, mm-hmm. I was a bit lower on this at first. Uh, I think yesterday, where I was talking about, like, was it yesterday, two days ago, I was talking about like seven, five, eight. Yeah. I actually gonna I give think it... both of our significant others absolutely. Hated I, this movie. I was more. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Uh, I'm not... I have to say my wife thought it was the best like movie in the universe. She gave it a ten out of ten. 10 Ashley 10. hated it. I'm giving it. An Ashley eight. says five out of ten if she's feeling generous. Yeah, I think uh, Amanda's <laughs> about six or six five. She hated all the humor. It was over the top, and I do agree mm-hmm. on most on some parts of it. It was a little bit over the top with it, but it's a very dark movie, so I understood why that was in there um i'm gonna give it an eight five out of ten um just because uh i the more i thought about it the more i the magic that was pulled, they pulled it all this, the it, magic it's almost the same feeling of the first avengers where you're like son of a bitch they did it <laughs> uh they did it again because i like after ultron you're like they didn't really do it with that movie i thought that was a waste of a movie in my mind but um 
No, I mean, the thing is, like, with Ultron, like, why are they all getting together to fight Ultron? Here's, like, no, you need not yeah. only the Avengers, you need the you fucking need, Guardians. You need, Guardians. Yeah, like, you need everybody. Well, no, I mean, Ultron yeah. was their own problem they created. Sure. So. Yeah, but this was, like, all hands sense. on deck. No, you yeah. need... I mean, you, this is I like Asian Ultron problem. is, like, the Iron Man 2 of Phase 2, where it's, yeah. like... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, like, okay, but, about like, it, like, it was it was a sacrifice for yeah. Phase 3. And yeah. I, I have to mention this, too, because I know you said you didn't agree with this, Jim, but I feel like this is, like today's day and age like if you went and saw empire in the theater you're coming out with the same feeling if 100 like, percent, i agree 10 with years you. 12 100%. years old look at how you guys acted out last year like i don't want to talk about this we should we need to end this but like i agree with you Corey. 100 no i mean imagine the kid like you were saying to, like mike the kids man the kids like the kids <laughs> going to see uh star wars skywalker like, like, what's empire. happening empire. The kid, like, what's happening the here's the difference though in this movie walking out. sure but here's the difference it's not gonna be stan like this stuff is not like uh, those characters what's, are not what stood in in, in the empire he was still yeah. his father uh he goes back to the good side Woo! it's uh no okay. Luke gets, a, gets a robotic hand Dies, on, comes out of the night. Back. yeah like everybody's good at the end i don't know <laughs> I don't know. His father's and dead. And it's undone in the first like ten minutes of Star nope. of uh, Last, or Return of the Jedi. So. There's there's also it's it's different time period. You don't like you're like oh let's see what happens at the sequel then. And now we already know there's like a part two sequel coming in a year here. Yeah. It's not yeah. the same thing. Oh, well, back then we knew right. it was coming too. Anyway, did we? Anyways, all right. That's yes. yes. Anyways, that's going to wrap up the uh, spoiler cast of infinity war so thanks for tuning in and watching uh if you have any questions or comments write us podcast at all can geek.net follow us on twitter all can geek or like us on facebook um so t- you know tune into the um movie cast and game cast coming up and uh hope you enjoyed it or before or after whatever you listen to these in whatever order so all right thanks for tuning in